So in this tutorial, we'll have a look how to add some shadow to your text. The easiest way would be to click on your text, go to the tools menu and select drop shadow. Then click on your text and basically drag your shadow where you would like it to be. So for example, here. However, during this tutorial, we would like to create some other custom-made shadows. So we'll be using some tools such as um, Trim Tool and Contour to actually achieve this. So the first thing I would like to do is, I've typed some text in my document, I'll zoom in it. I would like to change the color of my text, so let's go with yellow. Now the next thing is that I would like to create the exact copy of this. So with our text selected, I'm going to press Control Copy. This will actually copy my uh, text and then Control V which will actually paste it. Now I will change the color of the pasted one or the copied one to some shadow color. So for example this gray here and I will click on the text again. Now this will allow me to rotate my text. However I do not want to rotate it. Actually I want to slant it a bit. So if you go to the middle here the two arrows will change and you can create a slant. So you can move to the right, you can move to the left, for now we'll move to the right. And that's it, our shadow has been created. However, all the time, the shadow is actually behind the text. So we have to send our shadow behind our um, yellow text. The easiest way to do that is to press the shift key on your keyboard and the page down key. So press shift and hold it and then page down. If you want to bring it in front of the actual text, just press shift and page up. So shift, page down will send it to the back. Now that we have done that, I would like to do something else. I would like to select my text and then go to the tools menu and find and find the contour tool. Now in the properties bar, now we'll define some properties of this contour. So basically we're going to select the outside contour. We're going to set the contour steps to 1. The offset will go 1mm for this purpose. And we'll choose black color. So now we have created the contour. The next thing I would like to do is actually go to the arrange and then break this contour apart. Now the reason I have done that is that now we have actually created two objects. There's the background and the foreground. Having done that, I can zoom in a bit more. I would like to select the background. So this is that so that's this black. And you can see that we actually selected the background by checking here and we know that the background is black. The next thing I would like to do is press the shift key and select the shadow. So what we've done actually we have selected the, our contour or the background of our text and we have selected the shadow as well. Now if you move to the properties bar you will find the weld icon. Click on it. So basically what we have done now is that we have created an image that can easily be cut and used in other projects and so on. And one way of actually checking that is by selecting it and then if you go to view you will find a frame wire. Click on it and as you can see there is no objects overlapping so it means if I do, if I do use my uh, cut tool, everything's gonna be cut out nicely and I'm gonna get a nice cutout. Once again go back to view and normal and this will give you the normal view of your work. Okay now we'll see another way of actually creating a shadow that's going to be just a little bit different. So start off with writing some text like I have done here. Now I will select my text and I'll change the color to yellow again and now we'll go to the contour tool straight away we're going to use the same properties pretty much we're using the outside 
we're using the steps of one one millimeter color black it's pretty good and there we have we have created the contour so we'll go ahead and break the contour group apart so we have two objects once again and we can easily check that there it is we have two pieces so let's go back and now what we'll do is actually we will create a duplicate of our contour of the background so let's zoom in a bit more and make sure that we select the contour and yes we have selected because the, the color is black now to create a duplicate we'll hold the control key and press D there it is there is our duplicate so basically we'll now move this duplicate which is going to be our shadow using the using the keys on our keyboard so that's left up and down left right up and down arrow keys so we'll put it actually put it down like this good and once you're happy with where our shadow is what we need to do is we'll go and once again select the contour we'll select the shadow and we will weld this together but before we actually do that let's have a look what this looks like before welding as you can see the objects overlapping now when you try to create a cutout all the images are going to be cut in so that's why it's pretty good to use the weld tool as it actually combines the object together so we have combined it together we have welded it so let's have a look at the frame and you can see that none of the objects actually overlap each other go back to normal so pretty much that's it for the second way of creating the shadow so you can see the shadow is a bit different and we have used the contour tool to create the contour then we have duplicated our contour our background and then we have welded everything together the last method or the last technique that we're going to use to add some custom shadow will be something that is actually called the relief drop down shadow and you will see why that's the case so once again I have written some text and like before I will change the color to yellow and now I'll go straight ahead and I'll create a contour um, let's make the contour to some other colors so for example let's go and let's go with some green color now there's a reason why I have changed it to green color because this is actually what we will use to trim or cut the shadow which we will create later so once again we'll keep the settings all the same we have created the contour now we'll have to go and break the contour group apart is to check that the contour has been broken down into two different pieces and it has now what I would like to do is I would like to duplicate the the foreground so you remember before we copied we actually duplicated the thing that was behind the background or the contour now this time I will select this yellow text and I know that the foreground has been selected because I can see here that it, the fill color is yellow and I follow the same procedure I will go control D now I have copied the foreground and I will change this to black now this will actually be our shadow so like before we will use the up and down left and right keys on our keyboard to position our shadow where we want it so for example let's let's put it somewhere here once again the shadow should be behind the original text so we'll go shift page down so this has actually moved it behind the text now what I would like to do next is actually use this contour 
green lines or we can see as the outlines or the background color to, to cut in onto the, sh onto the shadow so to do that we will have to introduce another tool which is actually called the trim tool and if you go to arrange you'll find shaping and then again you will find shaping here and you click on it a new flyout window will pop up and here you can you can choose between many different things that you can do so you can actually weld which we have done before intersect and so on but we're gonna choose trim for now we're not gonna select any of those two options because we want the original source to be removed so now we'll hit on trim now when you click on it you will have to select the area which you would like to trim so in our case that's the background here and I'll click on it and now you can see that using our trim tool we have actually trimmed where the contour was into our shadow so once again we have created a different looking shadow here so we have basically created a shadow and the white bits there represent some some relief in that shadow therefore that's why this shadow this particular shadow is called the relief drop shadow so basically we have seen a couple of ways that we can create custom shadows we have seen this one the very first one then we went into the second one when we have actually copied the contour and created a shadow from it and then we seen the last one in which we have utilized first of all the copy or the duplicate of the foreground of our text of the contour to create the shadow and then we have used the trim tool to cut in some relief into our shadow so that's basically it on the how to create shadows